And right across the street from the cemetery, from Hollywood Forever, right on this wall. And doesn't that say it all? Today, here I am back at Hollywood Forever Cemetery here in Hollywood, California. I've been here countless times. I just showed you a little quick shot of where the peafowl are. There's one out today, but there I hear them all around. And your helicopter, too. That's not out of the ordinary here. Uh, the peafowl are probably all the way on the other side today. It's usually what happens when they're not in their enclosure there. And then I pass where the cats are, and this guy just started up a lawn thing, which is fine, or a leaf blower, leaf blower. And um, I will go take a look at the cats here at Hollywood Forever Cemetery that I always do, I try to visit once or twice a week. And uh, they're well fed, as I've always said. People come and take care of them. We're asked not to feed them because uh, there's people that do that, all the stray cats feral cats, the wild cats. Now I'm here today to visit the grave of Anne Haish. I did a video on Anne Haish uh, not too long ago, but I guess it was November roughly is when I did it uh, of 2022. This is now June 2023. It's her headstone. She didn't have a headstone when I was here. So I wanted to come back and take a look and see her new headstone. And it's right around the corner. Here we go. So her ashes are buried here on the other side uh, of the Cathedral Mausoleum. You see this mausoleum with cuts. That's how it's a good landmark for you. Statue of Anton Yelchin, who's right there. Off in the distance, Burt Reynolds. I've shown this many countless times. Chris Cornell on the other side of this little uh, mausoleum, the small one, crypt. Mickey Rooney. And here is Anne Hayes. They have it up now. It's so strange for me because I was just here recently, you know, and it was blank, and this is beautiful. Anne Celeste Hayes, 1969 to 2022. Mother, actress, writer, director, creator, believer, live in love. And because it's an outdoor mausoleum, I usually do not leave anything because of, um, uh, I don't want people to trip, you know? It's, it's different when it's a flat headstone or it's a headstone on the lawn. And I've always said, though, with Hollywood Forever, though, I know about the step. People leave things, not the step, but the out, outer part. So I've been here many times, I know people leave things. I have a small rock for Anne Heche that I'm gonna leave right here. And she is very beautiful. It's got a butterfly. Beautiful picture of her. So 53. Very, very strange to think about Anne Heche. Uh, not being with us any longer because she was so 
young and just, you know, we all, in the 90s, she was everywhere. In the early 2000s, of course, as well. And, you know, she was, she was a superstar for a while. Of course, Anne Hayes died tragically last uh, summer. It was a car accident. It, I did a video about that. I'll put a link below. I'm not going to get too much into the details as she's crashed into a house and the fire and everything that occurred afterwards and on life support. And it was a very tragic story. No one else was injured. She was speeding and it was reckless. It was preventable, maybe. I mean, she suffered from mental illness all her life. She had... Um, she had a lot of demons that she was fighting and substance abuse as well. So when I did the video last year, I went really into detail about what happened and I visited her grave. This is just me just coming to see the headstone. And you know, the comments were mostly positive about Anne Heche, but there was lots of people that had negative comments on her. I, I think like to say, you know, Everybody has an opinion, sure, but nobody else was hurt. That, that road that she went along and then crossed is one of the busier roads. Thank God no other car was... I was thinking about that last time. Thank God no other car... Regardless, she slammed into a house where so a woman was renting the house. Um, her pets and her lived. Now, the um, but a lot of her belongings were lost, gone forever. Thank God, no one else was hurt. But then I'm thinking, my gosh, the other car is coming. It could have been much worse. Could have been much worse. So I get that, you know, and reckless endangerment of other people's lives. It's, it's a no-no, like, and that's bad. But let's be thankful no one else was hurt. And let's think about the fact that you never know. You never know. We can't hate his struggles with public, but you never know what anybody's going through. And don't want to get on my soapbox and preach, but I just think, you know what? Life is a lot easier if you just kind of be nice and think, well, I don't know what that person's going through. And, and instead of caring on anger and hatred against somebody that you don't know, or, or you know, even people you see on the street or something that happens, you never know what someone's going through. It's easier just to kind of let things roll off your back and not go through life with that sort of anger and hate towards somebody, especially if you don't know them and you don't know what they were going through. So that's all I'm saying. I feel terrible for Anne Hayes. She had two young sons. Um, she had a tough life. She had a tough life. She's sure she was famous, money, glamour, that whole thing, but didn't erase some of the things that happened to her in her childhood and didn't erase the things that were going on in her head up until the point that she passed. Let's go take a look at the cats and see if they're out today. That's all. Just everybody be nice to each other. It's a lot easier to go through life trying to be positive. I know it's hard, but trying to be positive and just trying to accept people for who they are because everybody's different, but we're all the same. We're all the same, we're all humans. It doesn't matter what you are, we're all the same. So just, we gotta get along better, right? People gotta get along better. Seems a lot of anger towards your fellow man. And I, don't, I don't get it. I'm not lying when I say I love everybody. I really do. Do I get mad at people? Yes, but I love everyone. Let's go take a look at the cats. And here's Anton Yelcher, one of my favorite actors, right here. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I just made a short walk over just to Griffith Lawn, and there's where I drove in where the, the peafowl uh, enclosure is. And here's where the cats usually are. I don't see any today. But you can see, as you know, I always like to come out here. I think I see a couple. I mean, we see them looking over. They're always watching, trying to see what's going on. And there's one right away. Of course, my favorite was what I called one eye because I thought he had one eye, but um, for a long time. But it turns out he just had a uh, <laughs> just kind of kept his one eye closed. He opened it one day, and I was like, "Oh, there we go." Squirrel, and then the ducks or the Canadian geese, I should say, come on over and they 
steal the cat's food, but the cat's food is replenished every day. Hey, sweetheart. Hi. It's okay. See the bowls out? So they say, do not feed the animals because they are well taken care of. And I did used to come and feed them all the time. And then I think, I don't think they put that sign up because of me, but <laughs> it was put up. But you always see them watching, watching. And then here's a couple right over here. There used to be tons. I think it's uh, depending on the weather, what time of day. You don't have to leave. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just here chilling. It's okay. Yeah, they're up there. Always watching. I'm surprised I don't see any right now. So there's only three today. Hello. Wow, look at you. Oh, I see you over there. Another one just went that way. Some of them come right up to you. They're not all timid. These two here. This one. <laughs> see, look behind. Look at the one behind this one. They're, they're, looks like they're uh, attached. But it's just blocking the one from view. Hey, come on. I want to see your friend. Yeah, here are the cats and squirrel. So it's just a quick video to show you the cats. I know a lot of you like to see the cats, and I love to see them. I'm an animal lover. Many times I love animals. Sweet, innocent, they don't judge. Let's be more like them. And they curl up on, in the, you've watched, I have tons of videos from here. They curl up on the headstones on the warm days. And they find them everywhere. But this is their area. Right near Griffith Lawn here in Hollywood uh, Forever Cemetery. Peace, peace. Peace to you over there. And the other one that ran away. Oh, are you in there? No. Okay. Alright, thanks for watching. Rest in peace, Anne Hayes. I hope your two sons are uh, coping, dealing, and thriving. Um, it'll be a long road to recovery for those two young guys. Wow. And thanks for watching. Be kind to each other. I love you all. Peace. Out. Right across the street from the cemetery. As I was pulling out. I don't think I ever noticed this before. Look at that. Right there. Says it all.